okay so in this video we'll be talking about linear mensuration so first we will be defining what is mensuration okay so mensuration or measurement is the process or the result of determining the ratio of physical quantity such as length time temperature etc to a unit of measurement such as the meter second or degree celsius the science of mensuration is called metro metrology it comes from the latin word mensura and the verb mitere okay so it means that uh, mensuration is just a process of getting the measurement of any quantity so for example we want to get the length of an object so we will find the quantity which is a number then pair, pair it up or partner it up with a unit which is meter so for example if we manage to measure a length of a table then we get the quantity as one then the unit is meter so what we are now doing is mensuration okay so just like what the picture is um is uh, pertaining to no okay then we have the system of measurement okay so a system of measurement is a set of units which can be used to specify anything can be measured okay so we have a set or a group of units which is used no to put the uh, to emphasize what is being measured so that is a system of measurement so we have yeah the first um system is the english system so it provides the creative way on how people can measure by themselves for example people measure shorter distances on the ground with their feet they measure long distances by their palms which is equal to a yard no? so the english system is the oldest way uh, or the oldest syst uh, system of measurement no? so it's, it's uh, date back to the um, um, medieval period so for example the unit for distance is feet so feet is considered to be uh, a unit no? in which the, the standard um, length of a feet is the uh, foot of a king no so it is um, it is uh, somewhat um, uh, outdated but as of now so there are still countries who, who are using the English system and it has also a uh, made its standardized um, um, measurements no so in which um, as of today we are not, uh, the English system is not uh, using the the feet of a king or a queen in order to measure the distance or the length of an object or a certain um, or a certain two points in a location okay then we will go to the metric system okay so it is a decimalized system of measurement so it exists in several variations with different choices of base units so the metric system are widely used around the world for a personal commercial and scientific purpose a standardized known as uh, a standardized system known as the SI system is derived from this system of measurement so the metric system is the precursor no? or the or the or originator of the SI system no? so it uses metric units no? which are widely used no? in the world no? then we will go now to the SI system no? or other known as the Systeme Inter Internationally no? so it is French no? Um, it is a system in which is internationally accepted so this system is taken from the metric system and the two have the same units except that the S SI system uses SI prefixes so like the kilo, milli, the centi so that is the difference between SI system and the metric system okay so now we will go to the different quantities and their units no for the linear measurement or for this one we will be measuring the length no the length is the distance between two fixed point in a plane so we are measuring two different points in a plane so first we have the english system for the english system we have inches no 12 inches is equals to one foot plural four foot is feet one yard is three feet and one yard also is equivalent to 36 inches no because three feet no times 12 that will be 36 that's why one yard is equal to 36 inches then in the metric system so we have 
10 millimeter or 10 mm is equal to 1 centimeter. So we could we could call this one as matrix slash SI system. Then 10 centimeter is equal to 1 decimeter. 100 centimeter is equal to 1 meter. And 10 decimeter is equal to 1 meter. And we could also say that 1 meter is equal to 1,000 millimeter. Okay, so we have English to metric. So 1 inch is equal to 2.54 cm. 1 foot is equal to 30.48 cm. And 1 yard is equal to 91.44 centimeter. Okay, next we have area. So area is the extent or the measurement of a surface. No? So we have the conversion factors for the units of area. So we have 1 hectare is equal to 10,000 square meter. And 1 acre is equal to 4,046 no? uh, square meter. Then we have volume. So volume, it is the amount of space occupied by an object within a container. So the conversion factor for the units of volume. So we have 1 US gallon is equal to 3.8 uh, liters. Then 1 British uh, gallon is equal to 4.6 liters. 1 cubic meter is equal to 1,000 liters, and 1 liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. No? So these conversion factors are very important. So you must be able to familiarize with the conversion factors so that you can convert one unit to another. Then we have mass. So mass is the amount of matter present in an object. So the conversion factors for the units of mass are as follows. Okay. So we have 1 kilogram is equal to 1,000 gram. Also, 1 kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. So, this is the symbol for pounds, LB. No? Then, you have 1 ton is equal to 2,000 pounds. And 1 metric ton is equal to 1,000 kilograms. Okay? So, I believe that will be all for this video on the uh, linear measurement and the system of measurement and also for the conversion factors. No? So, and the next few videos will be trying to convert uh, units, uh, convert units from one unit to another. Okay, so I hope you learned something in this video, and as always, enjoy learning.